This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome back. So now look at here, the topic is SAP NetWeaver. So what is this SAP NetWeaver guys? In previous session, I told you that uh, after like whatever amount we are giving after that, there should be like two decimal places supposed to be there, right? But somebody has made change the settings there and it is like only one decimal places is appearing, right? So how to control this? Where Where is the setting of this one? So these all settings are related to your country code, related to the region, related to the currencies, right? Whatever these settings are there, it, you will be finding here in NetWeaver itself. I'll tell you guys, these settings is already like uh, SCP has given, like let's suppose uh, if you talk about the settings related to the country, setting related to the currencies and all, it is already given by SAP. And it is not recommended to change any any what is the settings over there because this is whatever the you know settings are required is already given by this SAP and that is why most likely if you watch any tutorials and if you are going to join any classes and all you won't be finding any tutorial related to the NetWeaver because uh, there is nothing much you know not much changes required here in NetWeaver and all right now very rarely very rarely the changes are required here and that to like let's suppose a new country is uh, you know formed like there are two countries so now new country is formed in that case what is happening in between you have to do the implementations once the new country is formed of course sap is going to uh, you know release some patches for that they are going to uh, adjust they are going to create that country code at all but in between like even we are also having options to set up the country code into a SAP system but now here we are talking about the decimal decimal place so let me show you where it is so i'll just do one thing go to here spro and where is the net viewer guys i'll show you look at here here is the net viewer okay and go to general setting always go to general setting here and here like countries currencies everything is there don't do anything don't make any changes in terms of countries and all you just go to currency here and here in currency check currency code so currency code is already set up and this is how like you guys are whatever usd is there INR is there or else like gbp is there so all the currency codes are already set up by sap we did not to set up the currency codes and all look at here set decimal places for currencies you need to go here and here uh, you just need to press enter and click on continue okay and click on yes now so look at here the currency INR is there and somebody has given one likewise even other currencies are also there and somebody has given three five three right so now we'll talk about INR here okay so one means here one decimal place after the what you say digit whenever we are going to enter the amount after that only one digit will after decimal one digit will appear right so here if you have to like somebody is going to what is the standard decimal guys let's suppose 5.25 so after that minimum two decimal uh what is a digit supposed to be there after decimal minimum there should be two digits right but if one digit if somebody has selected one it means only one digit is going to be considered by system right so here if you have to change it if you go to fb 70 Still, we are in account receivable. So let me quote the example here. Transition code of account receivable itself. If I give 1000 and press enter, look at here. Only one digit is appearing, right? So what we have to do? Okay, so changes doesn't mean that you are going to make it two. If you make it two, system will not accept because two is the standard, uh, you know, decimal. After decimal two is the standard digit which is already given by SAP that after decimal. Two, two digits will be accepted by system and this is the standard setting so if you give two here system will not allow look at here u is another input value so here if you are coming to this this screen it means instead of two either you need one three four five look at here somebody has given five right i'm going to give four i'm going to give four okay if you are coming to this setting it means you need to change the decimal uh, you know like uh, digits or whatever like after decimal whatever the digits are there right so other than two other than two in the sense sap has already given after decimal two digits will be that is the standard setting if you come to this setting then after decimals either you required more than two or less than two this is why two is not not accepted because system is saying this is already default value why to need 
why do we need to give two here? So I've given four, and if I save it, let's have a look on the impact. So here, there should be four digits, right? So let me show you guys. And once again, I'm going to give an amount here and press enter. Look at here, four digit is appearing. So guys, the standard is two itself. So you need not to give four, one, three, whatever it is. You just remove it. Click on delete. And if you delete, it means standard setting is going to be applicable. So now if we are going to, I'll use every 70 once again. And let me check it. So here I'll give the date. And here itself, just give an amount because anyway, we are not going to post the transaction. So look at here now, two digit is appearing, right? So this is how you can uh, change the, what you say, this decimal places and all. Since somebody was changed, that is why and it, you know, I observed like during this, I think it was there earlier also it was there, but uh, again, um, I thought like, okay, let me explain. So uh, this video I'm going to, this is the part of, it is uploaded in account receivable guys. Uh, generally, it is not the part of account receivable payable. It is applicable for all. But since I discussed in account, sorry, uh, I discussed in account receivable, so that is why I have uploaded this uh, in this account receivable segment itself. Okay, so that's all in this session, guys.